last year's SEC Coach of the Year, looks to take his Commodores to the next level. Senior quarterback Marcus Wilson is dangerous out of Vandy's eye bone. In just eight games as a junior, Wilson led the SEC in scoring. Gene Stallings has the Alabama Crimson Tide back into the nation's elite after 18 wins in two years. They're picked to win the SEC Western Division. Sophomore David Palmer is the league's most exciting player. Returning kicks, rushing, and even taking snaps. A real game breaker. It's Bama's home opener, the Tide hosting Vanderbilt. Three-man eye bone, and the give was a fake instead, and keeping it, Marcus Wilson out for good yardage on first down. Good yardage on first down for the Commodores. Now the deep man, straight ahead. It is Tony Jackson. First down for Vanderbilt as they move it out beyond the 34. First down for the Commodores. Take to the fullback. Wilson keeping again. He's out to the 40-yard line. Six yards on first down again. Second and four as the Commodores approach midfield. There's the pitch. And out to about the 47-yard line. Tony Jackson. They're going to work on trying to throw the ball more, but they hate, they hate to be in those must-pass situations, which this is. Laren Civilian, Eric Weir of the wide men. Wilson flushed out and sacked about a five-yard loss as Jeremy Nunley got it. David Lawrence, all SEC twice in his career. Chris Anderson, the deep man. It's a fake. And they fake it, and they're down inside the 30 as DiNardo goes showtime here on the very first series of the game. The man receiving the pass, cornerback Robert Davis, seeing action on the special team. First man through, fumble. fumble on the play. Alabama appears to have it at their own 14-yard line. Recovering the fumble, Lemansky Hall, the right outside linebacker, coughing it up was Carlos Thomas. Tied offensively now at their own 14-yard line with quarterback Jay Barker at the controls. Single back set, and the give is to the first man, Derek Lassick. He gets outside. He's beyond the 35, the 40, and brought down at midfield on Alabama's first offensive play. Tied with three wide receivers on first out at midfield. Two plays dramatically changing the complexion of this game. Parker to throw. He's got a man, Prince Wembley, on the right side, the flanker, and he's inside the 45. Jimmy Rayburn, our... Executive Bruce doesn't like hearing this. <laughs> Let him the victory against Tennessee. Parker on a little bit of a draw. Lassett fighting for yardage, dancing his way to a first down. Second and ten. We're five minutes and 40 seconds into the first quarter. No score. Parker, plenty of time. And out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Kevin Lee, the 6'1 junior out of Mobile. This will be a 46-yard attempt, but he's got the ball spotted right in the middle. Right, and it's going to be his first one in regulation off the grass. Let's see what happens. It looks good, and he's got room to spare for an Alabama 3-0 lead. Teague is really something. He's going to be fun to watch this afternoon. they got him playing cornerback this year instead of free safety. Marcus Wilson faking to Thomas. Second man through, another fumble, Alabama has it. It's outside the 26-yard line. An Alabama man has the football, and it'll be another change of possession. Third down and 11 for the tight as they split the backs. Three receivers. Marker with time, looking left side in the end zone, and it's just beyond the reach of Curtis Brown with Robert Davis beaten on the play. Michael Proctor will have a 43-yarder here, but he's not in the middle. He's over toward that right hash mark. Yeah, he drills this one, and it is right through there. A 43-yarder with about 15 yards to spare. This kid is really drilling the ball so far, and the tie 
takes a 6-0 lead with 7.02 to go in the first quarter. Marcus Wilson into the belly of the fullback, then he keeps it. He was almost caught from behind as Eric Curry, the right end, came around and got a piece of him. It slowed him just a bit. Kind of like a feeling when you get when you cross a railroad crossing. Now he'll give it to the tailback. And out beyond the 30-yard line is Tony Jackson. They're able to move the chains on that one. Wilson faking left, going right, and pulled down from behind. Good pursuit by Antonio London, number 55. The yardage by the Commodores, though. It's second and three. And again, Jackson out around the 45-yard line. He had to get to the 43-and-a-half for a first down. He's a graduate student now. He graduated in four years. Good job, Eric Curry. Wilson with plenty of time, a wobbly pass that's hanging up, and it's intercepted by Alabama. Number 43, Antonio Langham has it, the junior. Parker with a deep drop, time, left side, out there is Kevin Lee, and he is beyond midfield. And Robert Davis is giving him a little bit too much room. As he makes that catch, he's got to be hitting him, trying to shake it loose. Good yardage again. This time it's Chris Anderson fighting his way inside the 35, down to about the 30-yard line. This will be a 42-yard attempt near the left hash mark. Talked to Hootie Ingram, the AD here at Alabama, and he said Proctor is just very quiet in practice. It looks like he's going to go to sleep all the time. Doesn't kick that much, but when he kicks, he's good. He is perfect. How about this for a debut, folks? 9-0 tied as the Commodores go to work. Deep man. Straight ahead. Good yardage for Tony Jackson. Good yardage. They face a second and two. Jackson again trying to get outside. Gets beyond the 30. He'll go for the first down out near the 35-yard line. He's finally hugged down by Chris Donnelly. Third down and six. Fullback has it. Fumble. It's on the ground. Hard to tell who has it. Tide claiming they do. And it's Vanderbilt's fourth turnover of the game. Their third fumble. Back split. Short drop. Barker right up the middle. And we had a little activity going on there. Looked like Gerald Collins wrapping up Tony Johnson. SEC has crews working this year. Ed Aferon, defense team, 15 yards of previous line, first down. It's now third and 10, Alabama. They've got three wide receivers. Parker, plenty of time, overthrows a man, intercepted Aaron Smith, the strong safety. Second and 12, just inside the 10. Marcus Wilson. Nobody there. Broken play, and he will be sacked by Curry back at the six-yard line. Vanderbilt's passing game works best when their run game is working well, and it's a run-pass situation. Tide might be coming here, a 10-man front. Anderson to receive it, and they've got the block inside the five-yard line, and Alabama will get great field position as George Teague was into the end zone after the kicker. They've got Harris in a wing back. Lassick is back there. He's the man with the football. Trying to go to the pylon. Four side. Touchdown, Alabama. And the Tide will have good field position once more as David Lawrence, who averaged 43 yards a kick last year, will let it go. This one wobbles a bit. Anderson at his own 32. He'll have a return of about nine yards out to the 41-yard line. And Ricky is a fine linebacker, played behind Rod Keith last year and worked his way into a starting assignment this year. Alabama first down, Parker plenty of time, up over the top and getting it on the near sideline. Kevin Lee out of bounds at the 20. Lee with three catches, 78 yards so far. And barreling his way is Houston down to the 13-yard line. Stevenson and Harville and Shields. 
right side. Bama 0 for 4 on third down. Williams in motion. Parker fumbles the ball as he was hit and picking it up the man who caused it, Rico Francis. Well, they're feeling down on the Vanderbilt sideline. They're just trying to look for something good to happen. They've had three players now hurt. Of course, depth has always been the, one of the big concerns. There are other big concerns coming into the game, the turnovers. They've had plenty of that. Things have gone very well for Alabama so far in the first half. We're at halftime with the Tide leading here in Tuscaloosa. And we'll be back with more halftime in just a moment. Michael Proctor to kick it off. Three field goals in the first quarter. Andy Line drives one down to the two-yard line. Tony Jackson angles to the left side. He's beyond the 25, breaks it at the 35, and out to about the 47-yard line before he was finally pulled down by Antonio Langham. Two-yard gain. Wilson to Jackson. He will crash down to the 45 as they get across midfield. They stay in the eye bone, third and two. Wilson has to improvise. He has the first down inside the 40. <laughs> Second down and eight. Bandy on the move, but can they sustain it? Second man through. That's the wingback, Eric Lewis. Copeland wraps him up. John Copeland appeared to take a shot to the neck. Looks like he's got an ice pack back there. Vanderbilt will try to get the first down inside the 30-yard line as Marcus Wilson on the keeper is very close. Bob Baumhauer, Don McNeil, Tony Nathan. Two great players in Miami. Second and nine, way back through, inside the 20 and diving ahead near first down yardage, Eric Lewis. Now it's third down and seven. Wilson getting around, left side, inside the 10. He is close to first down territory, might be a little short. <laughs> to the fullback, to the end zone, touchdown Vanderbilt, Royce Love right up the middle. Robbie Tura is not on the field, they'll line up in the eye bone and go for two, trying to make it 16 to 8. Tony Jackson, the motion man. Wilson to the wing pass. And they get the two as Eric Lewis dives in. 4.16 left in the third quarter. No fumbles. No pass interceptions. Conservative game plan. Don't put us in trouble. A lot more rhythm to the game. Chris Anderson back to get the high far kick at his 14. He gambled a little on the return. And he gets it out to the 23, maybe the 24-yard line. Third and 13. That's not what Alabama needed. They've got to get out to the 33-yard line now, and they have been awful on third down today. 0 for 7. Back to the 10, Barker drops. Short route. Lassick gets away from one man. He's got the first down. On second and 7 has a man on the near side that's Curtis Brown first and ten at the 49 tied into Commodore territory Parker little out pattern to the tight end and that's Steve Buskey short yardage situation Axer split pull back Houston first down down to about the 37 yard line now it's third and ten. He's in trouble. Dumps it off to Houston, who breaks two tackles, still on his feet. Just no yardage to be gained out there. And we will have a 52-yard attempt coming up for Michael Proctor, who once kicked a 60-yarder in high school. Good pressure by Vandy. A couple of misses, a couple of misses. Trying to get him nailed. Here comes Michael Proctor. 52-yarder. It is just a little short. He had it on target. Second down 12 from the 32 of Handy. Wilson fakes a draw. Quarterback keeper cuts up the middle. He'll get near midfield out to the 45, maybe the 46-yard line. Now understand that this game started off, in case you joined us late, with uh, on their first 
punting situation, David Lawrence threw the ball for a first down. Alabama have, has people out there covering that now. He will kick it this time. Emma, no return. And Vanderbilt will grab it way down there. Parker in his own end zone. Looking left, right, nothing there. Breaks the tackle and he'll turn it into about an eight-yard gain. Second down and one. Parker will give it to Houston, the fullback. First down. He's beyond the 25 before he's stopped. Inside linebackers coached by Carl Reese. Outside guys by Bill Elias. Secondary by Ron Chase. They've done a fine job. A little pass underneath. Chris Anderson. Alabama, two for ten on third down. On into the flat to the races over midfield down to the 35 yard line is Prince Wembley. Now Wembley off to the race a little bit. Hope his family is fine. Uh, they lost their home in Hurricane Andrew. And out to the left side. 85. Curtis Brown on the receiving end. Parker's percentage improving. He's now 13 for 25. 177 yards. He hits his tight end. Steve Husky, who breaks loose for a few more. Second down, two. Draw play. Houston, the fullback, over the 20. Down to the 10-yard line. Check it, it's Tarrant Lynch, 45, who backs up 35, Martin Houston. And the tide rolls again down to the 12-yard line. This for an 11-point lead. It'll be a 32-yarder right in the middle of the goalposts. He's three for four so far. And that's a chip shot the way he's going. Alabama increases the lead to 11. the tide rolls in for its fifth sack of the day. Anderson at midfield to receive the kick. Lawrence, Lawrence goes with a low line drive and he hammers it back at the 35. Anderson had to stop his motion at the 30 yard line and then he'll get about 11 yards, maybe 12, back on the return. I live in the same town with a guy you used to practice against, Howard Twilley, and he told me to watch out for your DB <laughs> Phrases throughout the game. <laughs> Draw play. 35. Houston. There he goes. He's across midfield and he's down to the Vanderbilt 40 yard line or so. David Palmer still wears the Bama baseball cap. He had a little little off the field incident. And uh, I'm sure that Gene is trying to reinforce in his memory that what he did is something that he shouldn't do again. And if you do it, you don't play. Three wide receivers. Here they come. Parker in trouble. And they've got him back inside the 50. The ball was fumbled. And evidently it was down because obviously, as we said earlier, you can't advance a fumble this year. But the ball was whistled dead. It was kind of hard to see what was going on there. Alabama putting it away. Fourth and 24. They have to kick it, and that was a rather risky return by Jeff Brothers. Thanks for all your help. We'll see if Vanderbilt can come up with something good on offense. Draw play. Tony Jackson out across the 30. Clock with 2.40 to go, second and 10. Wilson passing only 2 for 10 as he drops back. Steps up, gets away, but not far enough away from John Copeland. That's not fair when guys that big are that quick. Big draw, play action, a little toss-up. Uh -oh. Intercepted by Alabama. Michael Rogers, he's trying to go all the way. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Rogers, a sophomore out of Laverne, Alabama. 
So Proctor, the extra point, blocked. Live ball still. And finally downed out at the 27-yard line. Alabama will settle for six and a 25-8 lead with a minute 50 to go. And DeBose, Mike DeBose was wondering whether he was going to play him or not, and uh, he's, got him, he's got him in there. Fourth and nine, Commodore's last gasp. And it ends in a quarterback tackle, a fumble. Commodore's get it back with Tom Vincent, the right tackle, recovering. Lemansky Hall caused the fumble. The ball will go over, and Vanderbilt will head to Nashville 0-1. Well, it's time to uh, get the coach and the prodigal son together here in Palmer. Talking it over with Gene Stallings. Maybe we'll see him in uniform next week. Well, Gene's been around young men for a long time. And, uh, you know, he knows that probably none of those guys that wear helmets are perfect. And it's just a matter of teaching them a lesson. You know, well, especially when you're a good player. You can't have one set of rules for the good guys and one set of rules for the guys that aren't as as good a performance. Well, Tim, some folks may look at the score of this game and say Alabama taught Vanderbilt a lesson today, but that will not be true. The Commodores had a chance to get back into the game when they mounted a 14-play, all-rushing touchdown drive in the third quarter, got the two-point conversion to make it 16-8. to But they couldn't sustain any offense, and Gene Stallings' Crimson Tide leaves the field, a 25-8 to winner with a 1-0 record in 1992.